In this clip we will revise how to solve for the solution of a simultaneous equation and figure out when actually such a unique solution exists and when it doesn't. Here we have two equations. In red are the variables, in blue are the coefficients. The first step we're going to do is we're going to solve for one of the variables and typically we solve for y uh, but that doesn't really matter. So we'll create two new equations with y on the left hand side and x on the right hand side. From now on this is just uh, reformulating the above equations and you should confirm that uh, we get y equals e over b minus a over bx and y equals f over d minus c over d times x for the second equation. Now this is now a nice form which we like because we are familiar in representing linear equations like this graphically and that will be helpful in figuring out whether there are solutions. These forms give us the intercepts and in yellow and the slopes of lines in green. So since we just have uh, variables and no actual values I can just make up where these intercepts are. So let's say f over d is up here and e over b is here. These are the two intercepts. And then I'll draw two arbitrary slopes, more or less arbitrary. Uh, remember these lines go from negative infinity to plus infinity for x and this line represents equation 1 and the slope of this line is negative a over b and this line here is the uh, represents the second equation and the slope of this line is negative c over d so from this little graphical illustration you can perhaps quite see quite easily that a unique solution um, that is this point here exists if the two slopes are different and importantly they only exist if the two slopes are different and that if and only if we sometimes represent as IFF okay so unique solution exists if and only if the slopes are different so what happens if the slopes of the two lines are actually equal in that case we have to differentiate between two cases. The first case is the case where we end up having no solution and that is if the slopes are equal and the two intercepts are different. Okay, We have different intercepts. The second case is that where we have an infinity of solutions and that's the case where the slopes and indeed the intercepts are equal. That means both equations represent basically the same line. So let's work through an example. You will possibly remember from uh, your high school maths that there are several ways how to solve um, simultaneous equations. Substitution method, that's what we're going to use here, elimination method. And depending on how the equations are set up, one or the other may be more convenient but both should lead you to the same solution so here we're just gonna look at the um, substitution method so we'll solve for y both equations and uh, you should find the following solution for these operations so please make sure that's a 4 so 4 over 5 times x is um, the slope in the second equation these are the two, the two slopes they are clearly different and therefore we should expect to find a unique solution for this problem let's uh, continue now but these two right hand sides of one and two are both equal to y so we can uh, set them equal that's what we do here negative 16 over 3 plus 5 over 3 x is equal to negative 1 plus 4 over 5 x. Let's bring all the terms with x onto the left hand side. So uh, we get 5 over 3 minus 4 over 5 x is equal to negative 1 plus 16 over 3. We'll just uh, find the common denominator here. That would be 15 
and we expand so we get 25 minus 12 15 to x is equal to negative 3 plus 16 thirds and so we have 13 over 15 x on the left hand side and 13 over 3 on the right hand side and that means x is equal to 13 times 15 over 3 times 13 the uh, conveniently the 13 cancels out and we get 15 over 3 which is 5 now we take this result and substitute it into one of our y equations so y is equal to negative 1 plus 4 over 5 times 5 so that is negative 1 plus 4 is equal to 3 hence our solution is x equals 5 and y equals 3 so let's look at an another example here it is and I want you to pause the clip and try it yourself before I work through the solution so here's the solution we'll start by solving both equations for y so we have y is equal to 7 minus 4x and y is equal to 9 over 2 minus 3 over 2x the two slopes are different so again we should find a, uh, expect to find a unique solution we'll set both uh, equations equal and we'll get this we bring all the terms um, with x to the left hand side all constants to the right hand side so here we have negative 8 plus 3 over 2x is equal to 9 minus 14 over 2 that means we have negative 5 over 2x on the left hand side and negative 5 over 2 on the right hand side so conveniently x is equal to 1 we sub this into let's say equation 1 so we got y is equal to 7 minus 4 which is 3 so the solution is x equals 1 and y equals 3